Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this is the show where I react to comedy music from a comedy musician's perspective. Sometimes I give insights, sometimes I talk about how the music video enhances the song, and sometimes I just point and laugh and enjoy the video. It's a crapshoot on what you're going to get, but, you know, invariably, we enjoy the video together, I pause the video often to react and give reactions commentary, talk about it, explain the jokes, what have you, explain why the jokes work for me at least, and uh, and more things of that nature. You know, it's a journey. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time, please do all the things that feed the algorithm, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you really want to help out the channel, consider supporting me on Patreon, where you get these videos early, get to hear my music early, like I said, I am a comedy musician myself, and all sorts of other cool things, get your name in the end credits, other things. Or you can also check out our new merch store, where you can get my name emblazoned upon your head and torso. On, you know, like, hats and shirts and stuff. I'm not, like, branding people or anything like that. But that... It, it was under consideration. Anyway, uh, this week we are reacting to two new songs from Dan Bull. Uh, recent releases of his. First up is Hello There, his Obi-Wan Kenobi rap. Uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show is new on Disney+. Plus. I've watched the first two episodes that came out on the first day. The new episode came out the day that I'm recording this, uh, and I haven't watched it yet. I'll be watching it probably after this. And then also we'll, re we'll be reacting to What's the Password? His song about trying to figure out how to make a password for various things. It seems relatable. Anyway, uh, let's dive into this. First thing, even before we even start the video, I love that lightsaber microphone. It's dope. It's awesome. Anyway, let's dive into this. Dan with the beard getting very Ewan McGregory, uh, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi vibes, obviously. It's not just the look, it, it works out. Which, of course, is doing the Alec Guinness vibes, because that's who played it first. <laughs> Knowledge. planet that's become my home scene. First off, that beat is really interesting. And of course, the song is called Hello There, and it's going to open with the Hello There line because Ewan McGregor made that line iconic. It's such a simple greeting, but the way he says it in the, in the prequels, iconic. And uh, already, Dan coming in with uh, the, the great bars and the great flow. Lowly, I wander dusty road to dawn in scruffy robes An undercover Jedi veteran that has seen loads Battled with tons of clones, among them Cody, drunk with Yoda And now look out for Luke, his Aunt Peru, and Uncle Lowe Wow! Mentioning Cody from the, uh, the Clone Wars TV show. Good references. From a base among the jungle and waste I'm on the case of dunes and Tusken Raiders Fussy neighbors, but there's lots of space to move Tuscan Raiders Fussy Neighbors. That's a great rhyme scheme. Little internal little internal pocket on that one. Really dig that. Yoda. And now look out for Lucas on Peru and Uncle Lo. And from a base among the jungle and waste, I'm on the case of Junes and Tuscan Raiders, fussy neighbors, but there's lots of space to move. Though aside from awaiting Luke, there ain't much in this place to do. It's as exciting as supervising convoluted trade disputes. It a little dig at the prequels there. Honestly. If you're going by machete order, the order to watch the, the movies in, uh, you can skip the first movie entirely. You don't need to watch the first Star Wars, the Episode One Star Wars, I say. By That's what I mean by the first, not Star Wars A New Hope, which was technically, chronologically the first, because it, it came out first. Uh, you don't need to watch Episode One. Just, just watch Weird Al's A Saga Begins music video instead. It summarizes the whole movie perfectly, and you don't have to sit through that movie. Although, maybe the Duel of the Fates fight is worth watching. But other than that, pod racing sequence 
is negligible. But the rest of the movie, the midichlorians, meh. Not necessary. Also, this song is good. Take some patience to negotiate with federations who blockade the roots to loot Dunray betrays you, then invades Naboo. Or you can watch this to summarize it, because that verse did nicely. Won't get anything done in Moss Eisley if you ask nicely. The markets are hard to get posh high street, so it's not likely. Ooh. I know the rough side streets and my tricks you have to do. Sometimes it's not just the sit that deal in absolute. Ooh, some, some really, really good rhyme schemes there. The little internal rhymes and the the pocket that he's chosen to, to put those into has been very, very nice. And that's the truth. The past comes back in loops to hit you hard and faster than a blaster shoots. What's after Luke? Qui-Gon Jinn and I discovered Anakin upon the planet Tatooine. Now it happens that the habitat of Shaq have been. Is that a grander plan? It has to be. It's not just luck across that pass have been. Subject to higher order. A fact that makes itself apparent whenever I think of a Skywalker. Very, very nice. Uh, I have to say, for as far as the music video, it is very basic, but that works for it. It's like... You know how a lot of uh, freestyle music videos sometimes are, where it's just focusing on the rapper and the mic, and they're in the studio just performing the song, as if they're, they're freestyling it. Sometimes, you know, it may not be a freestyle, but they're shooting it like it's coming off the dome at, in that instance. That's a very interesting way to shoot this. It's like, you know, we're getting different shots of him at the mic concentrating on delivering the song, but it's like some cutaways are like, here's, you're more focusing more on the mic, because it's not fully up to his mouth, as you can see in the shot. It's kind of below him, so we're focusing on the mic mostly, and we're just getting him kind of like just a torso shot in the shot instead, looking at the outfit. The, the Jedi robes are a fantastic costume here. Uh, so it's, it's kind of guerrilla, handheld, shaky cam filmmaking for the music video. There's not a lot of splash or a lot of effects to it, but it definitely serves the purpose of this is Obi-Wan and Obi-Wan is suddenly a rapper. Uh, and it, it, it works for that instance, I think. You cannot imagine a fire the force is by its very nature. It's hella dangerous. Nevertheless, it's vibration serenatus. It's alive. Ooh, it's vibration serenatus. It's a really good line. You know, how you feel the Force and it, it talks to you. It doesn't just talk to Obi-Wan, it sings to him. It serenades him. Not getting a lot of comedy from this song, as I kind of expected to, but that's that's okay. Still enjoying it. Chlorians all surround and bind and penetrate us right from backwards planet straight to grand galactic center chambers. Part dermal regenerator, part thermal detonator. Dark... Dermal regenerator and thermal detonator. Man, those... Dan is, is king at these rhyme schemes. That is absolutely amazing. Galactic center chambers. Part dermal regenerator, part thermal detonator. Dark versus light, can't blur the line that separates us. Ooh. The sun, it's rather hard to learn how far the father fell. But once it's done, it's the first step inside a larger world. I sense the signs at once, it chills the Emperor's eyes, a hunting villainy left to hide among the trill this wretched hide of scum and villainy. Ooh! I, I should have predicted that Hive of Scum and Villainy would have come into play in that rhyme scheme, because it kind of... A lot of the things were, were building up to that rhyme. Uh, Emperor's Eyes are Hunting. Hunting, filling me, scum and villainy. But he's like building up to that with all the other rhymes before it. Uh, the Hive of Scum and Villainy, obviously a famous line from the, the first actual movie. New Hope. Uh, yeah, so. And Mos Eisley, that's Wretched Hive of Scum and Villainy. Yes, good stuff. Really, really enjoying the rhymes in this. Left to hide among the trill in this wretched hive of scum and villainy. Endless lives have suffered in dignity under this unforgiving tyranny. But never defined, the rebel alliance is stemming the tide of toxicity, ending the terror, the tyrant send every time, and reminding the mindless hostility, finding the mind of his fault in the finest facility, stemming out the entire military. <laughs> Ooh, I, I, I have very little to say in this, except my mind is blistering from the rhymes. It's, it's so good, and I just have to keep... I have to pause it to take a breath to just kind of let the lyrics sink into my brain for a minute. Because just listening to it in, in one full clip is... I'm, I feel like I'm going to miss more things 
and I'm not really saying anything, but except that it's good. See, I warned you at the beginning of this video that sometimes I just appreciate the goodness. And that's fine too. It's a reaction. I'm reacting. That's a reaction. We. Oui. Wherever I might be found, I keep to the high ground, even in the deepest chasm, leaping chasms. There'd be good reason if you see me leaving seedy taverns. Believe me, your beliefs might need to be re examined. Don't even see a dragon strike me down, and I'll become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Ooh. I'm like a sun, and I would have done anything under the twin suns to prevent something as bad as that happening again. Young Padawans are suggestible, are susceptible to the dark side. So accept the force of the darkness, are a predator from which you can't hide. Up. I'm glad he slipped in the line about the twin suns and just comparing what he knows to ha that happened to Anakin, that he saw happen to Anakin. He doesn't want to have happen to Luke either. That's why in the show he's keeping an eye on them while being on Tatooine at the same time, keeping an eye on Luke. Uh, if you're not watching the show, I don't give spoilers as to what the show's about, but it's not just Luke that it's about. Um, and, uh, good. I'll be losing more soon as surely you saw me demolish him. But who's the more foolish, you're the fool or the fool who follows him? Look for. Ooh, that's a, that's a little slight dig at, you know, the, the, the Sith Lord and its apprentice, you know, the, the, the master and its apprentice kind of, kind of deal. Who's, who's more the fool, the fool or the fool who follows him? It's, it's a good line. Almost Shakespearean. Saw me demolish him, but who's the more foolish? You're the fool or the fool who follows him. Look forward to when I fought Vader once more. Felt the full force of the whole blade of his old saber. Till then I walk with the Raiders. Ooh, fantastic song. Just that beat is just nasty. I dig that a lot. That's really good. Duckleby. Now there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> Duggleby is what his channel was called, or is called. I think that's just, it says it right there on the subscribe button. But, uh, yeah. Uh, fantastic song. Let's move on to the next one. Let's let this play out first. I don't think there's anything else, but... Whew, that was good. It's just a shot of the microphone kind of wavering whatever. And now what's the password? I'm going to read this whole title that's on the video for this. Whole ass music video about how annoying it is to remember so many passwords. That's... they make apps for that. I don't... don't use the apps. Like LastPass? Like, my wife swears by it. Uh, but I... I tend to not use them. And I should probably. Because I... it... I remember a lot of passwords and it's... It's getting crowded up there in my brain. Anyway, here's a video about that. Also, just a personal note before we get into it, there should be a dash uh, in, in whole ass music video. Uh, it should be between whole and ass. So it's a whole ass music video, not a whole ass music video uh, with the dash between the ass and music. That would be wrong also. Uh, whole ass music video, not whole ass music video. Putting the right emphasis on the right syllable is what I'm saying. Okay. Corn hub. <laughs> of accounts. I've lost count of the amount of passwords that burden me. I'm shouting you for help. How'd how you figure out which digits fit? Give huh? us a tip. I've got nothing, man. I'm drowning in a drowner. I dig the, uh, the screenwriting for the lyrics on this. That's just having it be on the, the weird-looking computer that he had there. Please include one number and a special character, seven unique letters, and an anagram and calendar. It has to be a maximum of eight digits long, and will erase the whole page in the case you get it wrong. Gee. And we'll erase the whole page in case you get it wrong. <laughs> Putting in a palindrome in your in your uh, in your password is is a lot. Like, for those of you who don't know what a palindrome is, a palindrome is a word or phrase that is spelled the same way forwards as it is backwards. So, for example, uh, the phrase the the word race car. Race car is a palindrome because if you spell race car forwards, it says race car, but if you spell it backwards, it still says race car. 
uh, or or the phrase uh, Lisa Bonet ate no basil. If you spell that backwards, it still says Lisa Bonet ate no basil. That is my favorite palindrome, by the way. Uh, Weird Al did a song called Bob, which is done in the style of Bob Dylan, but all the lyrics are palindromes. Uh, so yes, it's a phenomenal song, uh, and he has that line in the song, and I'd never heard it before, and it's an amazing, amazing line. What I like almost more than palindromes are Ednolops. Ednolops are words that if you spell them front ways, they are one word, but if you spell them backwards, they're a different word. Like the word stressed. Stressed, you spell it, it's, it's stressed, but if you spell stressed backwards, it's desserts. Also, the word Ednolop is the word palindrome backwards. Because people who use language uh, have a sense of humor, apparently. There is a phobia of palindromes. I can't remember what the word for the phobia of palindromes is, but if you have a phobia of palindromes, the word for it is sadly a palindrome, because the sense of humor thing, but also uh, meanness, apparently. Cool. All right, anyway, that's enough about palindromes. We're going to get back to this now. Ah, tangents! We have them! Oh, lowercase, uppercase, shut up, okay. That's a really interesting rhyme for that line. Let's let's rewind it a little bit. Wow. Really, really good little like four bar scheme there. Little rhyme scheme. That was it's so intricate and involved, and yet at the same time, it's it's such pleasing language, you know. We're we're, we're using he's using the multisyllables in in that, and then making multi multisyllable rhymes like identification. That is a identification. It's a six syllable word. Word I think identification. Yeah, six syllables. And he's made multiple rhymes with multiple syllables that rhyme with this multi-syllable word. That is insanely hard to do, and he did it multiple times in a row. Ah! Brilliant. You got to take it on occasion, can't stay the same. What's your Mars made a name to be able to just play the game? What's the password? What's the password? It's all great to me when I'm filling in a capture. What's the Ooh. password? Rhyming captcha with password. The captcha is the little picture things that you have to click sometimes to find out how many traffic lights are there so you don't know that you're not a robot or whatever. Wait, what's the password? I can't recall them all, you daft bastard. I can't recall them all, you daft bastard. Oh, that's a good line. Also, his picture was in a uh, game called Rhyme Sweeper, which is a parody of Minesweeper, the game that usually comes with most Windows OSs. There you go. Random facts. Overloaded with ringtones, pin codes, spaghetti letter junction, traffic blocking up the ring road. Stop the roadblock, just open up the lock. I'm not a robot, I'm just a bloke and I forgot. It was Clippy, also from Windows. It's uh... the time that I've typed in the name of my first pet. I'm slightly surprised one of my veins hasn't burst yet. Ooh! First pet burst yet. S such ingenious rhymes in these. So good. Whoopie doo, more words to forget. Um, Looking through my phone notes, hoping I recollect. Oh, don't write them down, that's not secure. No. You might as well not look it go. And what do you think your pocket's for? Don't open that, it might be a fishing scam. You can't <laughs> tell me what to do. It's a piece of crap. What? <laughs> that's good, that's good. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me wonder how I even know my number. <laughs> I'm like a dongle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I even know my number. How I keep from going under. It's a, a, it's a riff off of a, a classic hip hop song and I cannot place. It makes me wonder sometimes how I keep from going under. There's a line in the middle there that I, I'm. 
I can't think of who does that song, but it's it's a classic hip hop line that's been used, uh, you know, in an old school song and then repeated often as an homage later on. And I think that's what he's doing here is emulating that. Why can't I think of it? I don't know. Sorry, meh. It's it's gone from the memory. The words are not coming, but I recognized it at least. Ha 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 ha. Ah. Oh, that's a face. Start again. Whoops. Short song. But uh Hey, it's Dan. This video was sponsored by RoboForm. RoboForm remembers all your past Imagine that. It was a sponsored video for a thing like LastPass, except it's RoboForm. It's a different thing like that. Genius. That was so good. Words so you don't have to. It even generates unique passwords for you and lets you log in and complete forms with a single click. Get RoboForm Brilliant. using my link in the description. I also want to say a huge thanks to Giddy Video for directing and bringing this project together. Yeah, bravo, bravo to them for that video. That video looked amazing with all the different screen types uh, coming up on the, the computer screen and the, the weird little creature that was the computer talking back. That was phenomenal. Wow. Uh, two great songs. That one, uh, shorter than I expected, but really, really good. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Consider supporting the Patreons. So you can get these videos early before everybody else. Get my music early. Uh, get your name in the credits at the end of the video and all sorts of other cool things like that there. Or consider getting some merch at my new Spreadshop store. Link in the description. And at the end of the video, there's probably a merch bar down there somewhere too. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye. It's me, it's your Uncle Luke, and I think maybe you and I should meet to go over.